Look at this. Look what I deal with on a daily basis with Reboot. Look, some shamote puts a spoon underneath my windshield wipers. Yeah, real funny, guys. <laughs> That'd be cute if I got in a car accident. Bet you feel real good about yourselves. Hey, good morning, guys. Dan here. We're heading to Operation Reboot Outdoors up in Byron. And uh, we're going to talk with CMP this morning about getting nine poles to the property and wiring uh, underground to the cabins so that our, our vets can have their CPAP machines turned on, their arms and legs or whatever recharge, um, you know, other, other medical reasons for it. And uh, right now we don't have any power down there. We just we rely on generator and batteries and that's not always the best option and it'd be good to get electricity down there and make us feel a lot better. We're down here in the kit in Big Apple getting some gas. You don't know what kind of critter you're gonna see in here ever. <laughs> you gotta watch yourself. Oh my god, is this guy fucking for real? Let me show you this. This is what I'm talking about. We're gonna make this educational. So if you pump your gas in front of here and you realize the guy behind you because you parked so far back can't get to the gas pumps and you look straight at me and you see that I'm not out, what do you think I'm just sitting here parking? Just pull off to the side, then go pay. You know? It's just common courtesy, common sense. That's what we're lacking in America these days. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. Looking for adventure. And drinking my caramel swirl latte. Born to be wild. See fans everywhere. I thought the singing was perfect. Hey, gas prices are pretty good. Uh, 312 right now. We're here in uh, the Canton Big Apple, hometown where I grew up. If you guys are wondering what's wrong with me, it's probably something to do with the drinking water here. I don't get what's up with all these little cars. Check out this one of these cars. They're like the Fast and Furious. Canton has a bunch of those guys like that that have those Fast and Furious cards. Let's go. One's missing. Win. Leave no chewing tobacco can behind. That was the most exercise I've done in a long time. I just ran about three quarters of a mile. It wasn't easy, but I got it done. Never quit. <laughs> Freaking come out of Big Apple like a madman. Freaking Red Bull goes flying that way. My wallet slide across the hood. I had to run back and recover them. <laughs> What are we gonna do for content today? We're gonna kill Kenny. So when you guys watch this, now everybody understand this, Kenny loves this. He loves dying. I don't get it. He just loves, he loves it when we kill him off. Good content for him. Come get this on camera. Neatly. Get this on camera. I'm bringing him out neatly. See, look, neatly. We have Liscom, the shirt thief. He just, he I has, paid for my he has, shirts. He has like 23 reboot shirts. Dude. I just spent 380 bucks on the freaking website. <laughs> so get off my back. <laughs> get out there and dance. Oh, that's classic. Holy cow, that stuff's waterlogged. Hey, so what we're doing here is we're moving this wood pile. Actually, we're gonna be using this wood right here that we harvested from the property for the sap house and for the lodge this winter. Nothing ever goes to waste up here. I got my two best workers here. Hey, let the supervisor supervise. You guys are the grunts, do the work. Uh, Penny could never be a grunt, okay? The difference between Hardwood and softwood. Feel the difference. F you. Bitch. Feel the difference. <laughs> ready? Kenny, you be the test dummy. Ready? I'm ready. You ready? <laughs> Let's go, you two. I need more work out of you. Let's go. Kenny, stop standing around. I'll come kick you in the shin. Could you get it in the trail, Let's go. I did. It's not my fault you guys stacked it like shit. You're supposed to load the back first. You're supposed to load the front first. No. I'll load your back real quick. 
There's no filter, is there? There's no filter on you, is there? I didn't cuss. All right, Kenny, you're unloading this all by yourself. Great! What are you doing? I said back it up to the wood pile. Right, stop! I don't take directions from you. I know what I'm doing. No, shut up. I'm pulling forward some. You don't hey, listen to me, huh? Shut up. Let the boss take care of this. Daddy's got this. Don't call yourself daddy again, I'll throw up. Call me daddy. No way you are freaking religious. I am. <laughs> listen, I've been baptized in the Florida waters. I wonder how many views a YouTube video could get just a throwing wood. How interesting that is. Um, you ever seen hardwood nunchucks? Dude, I gotta baby you all the time. No, you don't. I gotta constantly baby you. Oh wait, hey, check this out. Kenny wants to know if I have an extra Red Bull in the vehicle now. You the only out. reason why he wants to go get the Red Bull now, because he knows I always buy two. And I'm you know, yeah, see, Bull. look at him. <laughs> That's gotta be 300 pounds. You should be able to lift your own body weight. I tore my huge pectoral muscle. Want how good this Red Bull is? That better not after. be my real Red Bull. Yeah, oh, it is. Red Bull. <laughs> Whoop his ass, did it! Go yeah. get it now. Yeah. Have fun. I got mine. Yeah. I got the one you gave me. Yeah. Give me that <laughs> fucking thing now. Oh, that's cold. It's freezing, I'm not even joking. That was cold. He will pay for that. It will be off camera. <sighs> hey, Danny with Operation Reboot Outdoors. We just got done at campfire and doing a couple chores around the property. We've been knocking it out little by little as the year goes along, getting prepared for bear season. We got 32 veterans and LEOs and active service members coming in uh, August to September for bear hunts and everybody knows operation reboot outdoors takes it very seriously we have a high success rate and it's one of our funnest hunts it's probably our most popular we have people coming around from all around the united states from california texas all over the place hey we just got back from camp turner we're waiting on a uh, publisher to show up from the la metro magazine reboot has been picked for the front cover and the cover story of the magazine for the summer edition. Pretty big deal, I think. I mean, never thought we'd ever make a magazine. Here we are waiting to see the reveal of it. She's on her way. We'll show it to you when she shows up. I come home like, hey kids, go out and uh, mow the lawn or do this, do that. Guess what? They say, how much? I say, what do you mean how much? 20 bucks, we go in there right now, they're on their Xboxy or their face screen tubing shit. Let's go take a look, see what they're doing. What's up boys? Look what they look, point proven. YouTubing it up. Look, Adrian's hiding, he's covering his head. Honey, it's five pages on the inside. It's pretty incredible. I'm actually very humbled and I kind of get a little choked up. And that we, two and a half years that we made it this far. Wow, dude. So what you see in here is we just got featured in the Auburn Lawson, two big cities in Maine. LA Metro Magazine, which is also the Uncle Andy's, does the Uncle Andy's and uh, Operation Reboot Outdoors got the cover photo and uh, we got also got the head story with five pages right dead smack in the middle. I'm blown away. So it starts right here, starts right here and it flipped to here, to here and then to over here. Pretty crazy. I don't even know what to say. I'm thankful, proud of this organization and we'll keep pushing forward. Hey guys, Andy with Operation Reboot Outdoors. The first, uh, wait, we do. So new hit 500 subs on the uh, uh, series Rebooted. Do it all over again. Hey guys, first 500 sub. Hey guys, Andy here. Gee, the first 500 subscriber on YouTube. <laughs> Once we hit 500 subscribers, we're gonna give away a Valhalla Can Wait sweatshirt and a Reboot Cryptek camo hat. 
So help us reach that. Like, share, tell your friends, family members to like the page, share it, and subscribe. <laughs> what? <laughs>